And tonight, Governor Mike Parson signed the imminent domain law. ABC 17's Marina Diaz is in Sedalia after speaking to Parson about this bill and what it means for Missourians. And Marina, this was signed at the state fairgrounds earlier tonight. Hannah, that's right. I'm here at the Missouri State Fairgrounds where the law was signed into effect earlier this evening. The law will require energy companies to pay private landowners 150% of the fair market value for use of their land. The love of the people of this state and the love of Missouri that I share. After years of debate and multiple compromises, the eminent domain law was signed tonight at the Missouri Cattlemen Association steak fry by Missouri's Governor Mike Parson. Yeah, it's a big win for farmers across the state, making sure we're talking about eminent domain and understand how important our land is to it and how much voices we have in that. Eminent domain is a law that will allow companies such as the Chicago-based energy company Invenergy to continue to work on projects that are considered to be for the good of the public on privately owned land. The law will require a company using eminent domain to pay landowners 150% of the fair market price for the use of their land that is used to build electrical lines in Missouri. St. Louis State Representative David Gregory told me that he thinks it's an important win for farmers, and he's glad it took place at the Missouri State Fairgrounds. It is uh, it's super exciting that governors are going to sign it today because, number one, our farmers need fair market value for their property. They absolutely need that, and they deserve it. And it's also critical that we maintain at least a significant portion of that power coming through Missouri for Missouri. So this is a super exciting time. It's wonderful that it's here at the Kettleman Steak Pry on the Missouri grounds at the hub of our agricultural center here in Missouri. The law will not interrupt Invenergy's 4,000 megawatt transmission line called the Grain Belt Express, which is expected to carry clean energy across Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, and ending at the Indiana border. However, the law will require Missouri to receive a proportion of the amount of energy from the line, something that Governor Parson says will benefit Missourians in the long run. Yeah, well, we all want power. We want internet someday, and there's just got to be a real way to how we do that, but you got to work with the farmers to do that. The law will go into effect in August. Reporting live in Sedalia, Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Marina.